guys, Bree and Glenn here from The Loan Room here to jump on and answer a few questions about the difference between a redraw account and an offset account and how they can be advantageous to a borrower. So Glenn, first question, maybe just cover off, what is a redraw account? Yeah, sure, thanks Bree. Um, so a redraw is uh, one's ability to actually pull out of a home loan extra repayments that they have made. So during the course of um, the year, hopefully that uh, extra repayments have been made on the home loan. Uh, so that you will be in advance and redraw is simply pulling out those extra repayments. Uh, you can use those extra repayments for anything that you um, need around the home. Uh, you could purchase a motor vehicle, you could uh, do some home improvements. Uh, so the redraw is just pulling those extra funds back out. Yeah, sure. So maybe what type of borrower will, would benefit from using a redraw account? How do they utilise that? Yeah. Side of their home loan. Um, so I'm seeing actually a lot of first home buyers that are um, just looking to purchase their first home. They want a simple, basic, they're often referred to as a basic home loan from the banks, um, a variable rate where they can make their normal repayments and hopefully some extra repayments along the way. Um, nothing too complicated from the sense of having that extra offset account. Um, they're benefiting, I, I get those first home buyers are benefiting from just having a basic loan and utilising the redraw. Yeah, sure. I've lately had a couple of savvy first home buyers, we'll call them, who have had quite a bit of um, excess savings after they've made their purchase. So they have benefited from having the offset facility. Do you want to maybe cover off why that is yeah, beneficial? Yeah, ab absolutely. So um, I guess the, the main difference is between an offset and a redraw is an offset account is a completely separate account. So you've got some spare money that's parked in the offset account and for every dollar in that offset account, you are not being charged interest on your home loan. So if your balance, really simple example, is $100,000 and you have $10,000 spare, you can make that as an extra repayment. Your loan balance comes down to 90,000 and the bank charge you interest on that 90,000. You've got that 10,000 available in redraw. On the other side of the coin is the offset account, whereby you can have that $10,000 parked in an everyday account and the bank calculate 90, which is your loan, uh, 100, sorry, which is your loan balance. Take away the 10 equals 90. So from an interest point of view, it's exactly the same. From a functionality point of view, this is where the difference kicks in. Uh, and the offset account um, can be used to park that extra $10,000. You can make your BPAY payments of your gas, water, electricity bills. You can have card access to it, so you can pull it straight out of the offset account. So what are the disadvantages of having an offset account in that case? Because it sounds great. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Everything comes with a, a, a drawback sometimes, I guess. Um, so main differences are uh, an annual fee. Banks um, charge an annual fee for the offset account. Um, most of the majors are around about 395 um, and banks are uh, down to 250. There's a couple of banks that are around about 250, 290 for an annual fee. So they um, allow you to have this extra account, but there'll be a fee associated with that. Um, I guess the other difference can be an interest rate difference as well. So uh, some lenders have exactly the same rate for a, a basic loan versus an offset account. Um, other lenders have a little bit of a difference with the interest rate, so it can be more expensive to have the offset account as well. Yeah, so to simplify that for first home buyers, you'd probably only have an offset account if you had a substantial amount of money in the savings account left over after you purchased your property to outweigh that fee that you're paying every year. Correct. So typically speaking, uh, maybe an investor would be more inclined to get an offset account. Yes. Not Yep, absolutely. Uh, investors that have probably got multiple um, properties, multiple um, uh, properties within their portfolio, um, and they can shuffle around things, uh, their finances around. So they may look to have multiple offset accounts or multiple lending with offset accounts, um, and that can then use to, uh, for deposits on their next property and so on. So yeah, yeah it can, sure. can be a little bit more um, detailed with an investor. I suppose another benefit of having that offset account being an investor is being able to very cleanly keep track of your expenses too. So all your rental income coming in, insurances, property management fees coming straight back out. So the time you come to tax time, it's very clean and you know exactly what uh, income and expenses you've had on that particular property. Correct. Too. So it's a yeah. really functioning transactional account. Absolutely. Beautiful. So uh, are offset accounts commonly used as we first anticipated that they would be or do you think that that's changed over time? Yeah, I think it very much has changed. I think when lending first came out, I suppose, and, and perhaps um, a few years ago, offset accounts were very common. Mm -hmm. Banks really wanted to, um, to have that stickiness in terms of having clients with their whole of banking 
uh, with one particular bank. So if you had your loan account, you had your transactional account, you maybe had a credit card with them, um, they were very popular. Um, but nowadays, I think that people um, are a lot more savvy with regards to technology. Um, banks have all got their iPhone apps um, available on, on your phone, um, and everyone's really good with their internet banking. So um, perhaps these days, the redraw and just a basic loan is, is maybe more popular um, because of the functionality and the ease of, of operating them. Sure, we talk about this a fair bit in the loan room and your relationship with money, um, and you've got to do what works for you, I suppose. So the mentality between the two different accounts, what's a borrower actually going to see in their account? Yeah, and, and this is probably one of the important things. People's psychology is always different. Yours yeah, and money. mine is yep. different with lending <laughs> and everyone else is out there. So um, I can also see that people that love to pay down debt, uh, like a basic home loan, they like to be able to make extra repayments and keep paying that debt down. They get a lot of satisfaction of seeing the debt being reduced um, and that then helps them feel like they're getting closer towards property ownership and their, their ultimate goals. Um, on the other side, some people that we reach out to um, and that, that um, take new loans uh, love to see a savings element. So they like to see their savings balance increase from a psychology point of view. That gives them a bit of peace of mind knowing that they've got the funds available in an offset account. So there's a bit of a difference from a psychology point of view um, and obviously each to their own on that one. Exactly right. So if you have further questions on this and trying to work out for yourself which uh, facility is going to be better for you, redraw or offset, please reach out to us here at The Loan Room.